Hello, my name is Duncan Fuller and this is tutorial booklet 4, Advanced, and we're going to be looking at uh, timetables within Flexin. Uh, we're going to be using version uh, 2020. Let's have a quick look at the tutorial booklet. Uh, should take about 15-20 minutes, maybe slightly longer. Uh, we're going to do a standard model with the source queue. The queue is going to be uh, uh, using one operator. And the queue will then move on to two processors. Uh, the processors uh, will be attached to a dispatcher, uh, which will in itself be attached to two further operators. And also the, um, the two processors will be connected to um, the second queue. Let's have a look, see if there's um, anything major we're going to be doing on this. So uh, it looks like we're going to be using the operators um, on on the processor for the processing, and we're going to be going to use the timetable parameters window, where we um, we're going to timetable one of the operators uh, to move to a, a new location. And the first time we're going to use, uh, we're going to move to a location defined by X Y Z. Um, and then we're going to uh, ask it to move to a, a, a location by an object, whether we use a, a, a network node. And so what will happen is the operator uh, will, when it's got a, din a break, will come to the, the network node. OK, let's uh, start uh, flexing. For, for this example, it doesn't really matter if we use minutes or seconds. So um, let's start. And let's drag in a source. Two queues. Remember, you can hold the F key down to copy. Two processors. A dispatcher. Let's put that up, up there. I'm going to put two operators near the dispatcher and one near the queue. I'm going to use the A key to connect source to queue and A again from queue to the processor and then back to, and then to the second queue and then the other route as well. I'm going to use an S key to connect the queue to uh, the, the operator. I'm also going to use an S key to connect the two processors to the dispatcher. And finally, I'm going to use an A key to connect the dispatcher to the two operators. So let's go to the first processor. And uh, we're going to leave that in the main default settings. We leave the main default settings other than uh, change the use operator for the process. And it's going to take the uh, the operator from the, uh, the center port connection. And as we know, um, that center port is connected to the dispatcher. Let's go to the triggers and um, and on process finish, let's add a um, object color. And leave it to random. Let's go to the floor tab and we'll use a transporter as well. And let's do that again for the uh, the, uh, the second processor. So we're going to use a transporter. Uh, we want to do uh, on process finish. And we're going to set the object color to a random color. 
and say apply and OK. Need to go back to the queue to make sure that it's set to use transporter. So apply and OK. So now we're going to um, work on this operator here. So, um, so let's go to the toolbox and add a timetable. And I'm going to call this operator and ease number three on mine, you, depending on you've, how you've modeled or dragged in the operators, uh, it, it will be slightly different for you. Uh, so that's operator three break. We can click on here and uh, go and find the operator number three, or we can click on uh, this little um, sample and go and collect him, select him. So now it's got operator three. Let's go to the, the table now. Let's change the feature to custom repeat. And so we've got many different options, a daily repeat. Um, weekly repeat, etc. So we're just going to do a custom repeat. And uh, so every 200 units, and I think we, we selected um, uh, seconds, it's going to be a number 12. So this is number 12, uh, which is scheduled downtime. So you, you've got all these different features and we're just going to stick with schedule downtime. So you want our member, which is at the operator three to schedule a downtime and the duration is going to be um, 30, 30 seconds. Uh, it seems a bit um, a waste of time. Maybe we should have put it in minutes. OK. And now we want to know what to do when, when we, we, uh, with this downtime. So we've got down function stop, to stop the object. So um, we click on this and we want it to uh, tr travel to an object, delay downtime and complete um, a location. Sorry, we're going to do the location first and we're going to send it to an X location of two and a Y location of minus eight. And um, so that's what happens when uh, operator three, it's going to stop and go to that location. And when uh, after the time period is finished, it's going to resume and it's going to resume the object. Um, so probably better to do, to do nothing because it will just kick in and it'll do it'll stand there until it's been requested. So it will almost definitely be requested to do anything. So I would just leave it to do nothing. Let's apply and OK. Let's just pop out a little bit and let's reset and run the model. So there it is. You could just see it then. Uh, um, it came and stood down, down here. There it is. It's standing there and it goes back. So that's worked. Uh, that's fine. So um, let's add another timetable. So add timetable. And we're going to change this to uh, pro, pro, processor. Down, down time. So, uh, we're going to add process, uh, the first processor. So I'm going to just click on there. It comes in. Go to the table function. 
and go back to um, our custom repeat. Add 200 into downtime of state 12. Uh, the uh, duration is going to be 100. And uh, repeat after 300. In fact, I think I probably forgot to put the repeat in the, uh, the, the pr previous one. So let's apply that and OK. Let's just go back to our operator and make sure that we've done um, 230. I think it should be 200. Apply and say OK. OK. So let's go back again and we're going to change the the function from go to a, a, a known location um, to 2 minus 8 and 0. I'm going to put, send it to an object. It doesn't really matter which object you choose. The, tut uh, the tutorial says um, uh, do a network node, which is absolutely fine. I uh, might as well do it. I tend to like putting the... Um, show name there we go so let's change this to um travel to object and now it's asking us to to split the object so i'm going to click on there so we've still got operator three and it's going to travel to the object based on these settings so apply and okay uh, let's reset uh, just run our model to see if everything's okay. So, so you can see that um, pr the process every now and again just stops, and that's due to the uh, processor downtime settings in here. So after every two hundred. Uh, it will uh, go down time and it will stop for t um, 100 units. If we reset that and press step, we should be able to. See. Going through it. And you can see there it stopped. So that's worked. So let's stop and reset. There we are. Uh, that, that's uh, how to use uh, the timetable. So we've used it uh, on an operator to um, to uh, to go for a break, uh, and we've used it in two options: to go to a location or an object. Personally, I prefer the object, um, and we've also used uh, sort of like a plan maintenance. So we know that um, it's going to be a plan maintenance or, or maybe we know that after a certain period of time, something needs to be cleaned and stuff. Um, and then we've zoomed, probably could do, change that. Uh, and maybe it's a little, yeah, change, uh, change color. We could have changed color uh, on down. Uh, change it to the red. And maybe we ch uh, change color and change it back to 
screen if I can find it. There we go. There we go, it's gone red and go back to green. And um, things are filling up, so I, sh I should be fine. Um, uh, hopefully uh, you've enjoyed uh, that tutorial. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye.